Hello guys, it's uh, Tom again. Hope you all had a nice Christmas and a happy new year. It's the 1st of January 2017. It's midnight, so actually it's probably the second now. <laughs> and uh, I'm doing my first wild camp of 2017. So I'm going to go to my usual spot in the forest. Uh, I'm sort of trying to run ultralight with this one this time and um, as it's quite late I'm probably not going to do too much filming tonight I'm going to do most of it probably tomorrow morning now um, if I just turn the camera here you can see I've got my really bright screw fix light again did a review on that check that out very very bright it's going to be useful for filming okay it's quite heavy about two kilos so so you wouldn't take that walking or anything like that this is just purely for local wild camps to film and um, I'm deciding whether or not to bring my uh, down booties that you wear when you're in your shelter or your, your bivvy. And uh, just because it, it might be quite cold tonight. It's been raining so everything's going to be really, really wet. Um, don't know how cold it's going to be so I'm just prepared. I've got thermals on all that sort of stuff. Got my Osprey Stratos uh, 24 litre pack there uh, and I'm taking my bivy bag the uh, Rab Ridge Raider bivy with the the hoop in one end of it uh, when I weighed the pack before the water it was five kilos that was with food though as well sitting at eight kilos on the nose that's with water food the whole lot okay so <sighs> What I'll do is I'll weigh this when I get back to the car tomorrow morning. Now, and uh, I'm just using the screw fix light to uh, light the way. And this is only on the uh, the medium setting, and uh, it's, it's really really bright. Uh, on the camera, it's only picking up sort of maybe sort of two meters three meters in front along the floor but with this light off camera I can see further than that probably 10 meters so it's really good um, I'll try it on the high set and I just want to get past the houses so it doesn't set any dogs off okay and that is the bright setting so yeah really really bright um, I don't really need this for this bit so I'll probably just stick it on the medium for now anyway I'll talk to you in a bit okay it's ten past one in the morning and uh got set up I've uh, I got the uh, the hexi wood stove going um, hexi sorry solid fuel stove going while I was setting up the Ridge Raider Rab Ridge Raider bivvy so uh, there we go this is all being powered by the screw fix light this lighting and um, I'm not going to show you all of this kit now because it's late and of course it's dark I'm going to do it in the morning when the lights better um, and I've got more time then so just quickly I've got silver space blanket down there's a little short section of foam that I got out of another pack that I use as a backrest um, or a sit pad that's down the foot end got my down sleeping bag silk uh, bag liner inside underneath that there's that skeleton frame half pad um, self inflate um, inf I always keep saying that inflating pillow uh, it's my uh, Osprey pack Stratos 24 and if I bring the light round actually um, yeah so that's the pack there's the uh, solid fuel stove um, over on the far side there 
is a little small tin that I tried making my own stove with. Didn't work. Um, I'll probably show that in another video. I haven't really got time now. There's all the water, Nalgene bottle, um, I have a little small camera for photos. Uh, food cooking, I've got a cup of soup going there, um, just cooling down. Porridge for morning, my knife. Um, yeah, so this is, this is going to be my bed for the night. I'll see you in the morning, or you'll see me. Good night. Good morning. It's uh, it's quarter past seven in the morning. Uh, reports on the night. It got very very cold. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep using this this Rav Ridge Raider bivy for because I think it feels like like the bathtub floor that's built into it is not really working anymore and it seems to get incredibly damp and the damp just rises through it and just makes you incredibly cold um, it, I think it needs re-waterproofing again I'm not not sure really anyway um, so uh, but my sleeping bag my down sleeping bag was the thing that saved me absolutely brilliant um, and I'd probably think for winter I need two pads I can't just use the skeleton frame pad uh, in conjunction with like a heat sheet the heat sheet's not cutting it you need either like the silver foam ridge rest pad or like a full length inflatable thermo rest to go with the skeleton inertia x light pad as well um, anyway, but apart from that, I slept alright really, just, you know, kept my thermals on, kept my fleece, my hat and gloves on and that, it was alright, so, um, right, I'm going to get out, get out now, get my shoes, waterproof, some of my down jacket on, uh, and see what it looks like outside, and, get some food going, some breakfast on. I'll speak to you in a bit. I've just got breakfast on. Got some protein porridge and I've got two hot chocolates, a plain hot chocolate and a mint flavoured hot chocolate there. There's the work light. Don't really need it anymore now because the sun's coming out. There's the Hexy soap, I'm just burning some of my rubbish just to use as a fire. Um, nearly finished two litres of water there. It's for cleaning the pots up afterwards, just some flavoured water in that Nalgene. I haven't used that Nalgene for a long time, so it's good to bring that out. It's my rubbish all in there, packing out. Okay, so you'll be able to see a bit clearer in this light. Uh, what I slept in, there's the Osprey Stratos 24 backpack, rucksack. So, yeah, you got your, your Ravridge Raider bivy. So it's got this this hoop that you put in at one end, at the head end. Got my uh, Cumulus Ultralight 200 rated to 3 degrees Celsius. Um, of course, you can drop it low if you wear, you know, extra clothes and stuff like that uh, in it as well. Silk sleeping bag liner. Uh, that's that Inertia X Light climate skeleton frame pad. Got my down booties. They were lovely. Really kept me warm. Then I got just a silver space blanket underneath all that. As I say, yeah, I could have done with like another pad underneath me as well, like a full length, like my full length uh, self-inflating thermo rest or uh, my full length silver thermo rest ridge rest, like foam roll up pad. But it was all right. And then underneath it all, I've got the polycryo ground tarp as well. So I'm going to get eating breakfast and then. Uh, 
I'm gonna probably head on home that way to the car. Um, once again, I've got my thermals on. I've got my uh, so I've got the camera upside down. I think. Um, or was it that way? I can't remember. It's too early for me. No, sorry. <laughs> what is going on? Um, yeah, I've got uh, over trousers, waterproof over trousers on by Burkhouse. Then we've got. Hang on, it's telling me off. Uh, that's it. Uh, I've got my. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, just normal walking trousers on, thermal, uh, like sort of uh, compression type things on, just trail runners. Down jacket, I've got a fleece, thermal long sleeve top, couple of like wicking t shirts, a wicking vest, uh, beanie hat, fingerless gloves. I find I can work with them better as opposed to sort of full length gloves. And they're good for walking, but as soon as you need to do anything, you can't do anything, so sort of a bit useless, really. Um, anyway, you can just sort of see the trees, uh, through the trees rather, to the field. There's like a nice layer of frost on them as well. Anyway, this is the forest again. You must be getting used to seeing this place. I am going to get out at some point and try and look for other spots uh, I've just ordered a, a recently ordered like a, a much bigger tarp not a poncho tarp but a normal tarp um, I'm thinking maybe I could try and string it across these two trees one time and do something like that and just experiment with different things or go further into the forest and okay I've had breakfast and sun's up now so I'm now going to show you uh, my kit list for this uh, overnight wild camp um, weighed in at five kilos that was with food but without water so I'll start off with the water I've got a two litre uh, soya squeeze bag and a litre Nalgin bottle my shelter of choice for this is the Rab Ridge Raider Hoot Bivy. Comes with eight V stakes and the pole. Then sleeping, I've got a Cumulus Down sleeping bag. Weighs about 650 grams. Uh, that's the sleeping pad, the Climate Inertia X Lite skeleton frame pad. The pump, hand pump that goes with it. Got a Sea to Summit uh, silk uh, sleeping bag liner, a uh, heat sheet, silver space blanket to go underneath everything. Uh, what everything's on, this plastic sheet is a polycry ground top, so you put that down, then you put your bivy on top of that. Got some dry socks to sleep in my socks that I'm wearing from walking are wet then moving on to the cook system got titanium pot titanium mug uh, a solid fuel stove uh, and fuel tablets fit inside uh, some matches some water purification tablets fire steel lighter tin foil and a spork lovely fetching pink colour and the pots and the mug they all nest inside one another all this goes inside it and it goes in that little net bag little microfiber towel to uh, wash up with and normally I would have a little Brillo pad with soap in it as well for cleaning pots and stuff up with got my little digital camera take photos I do a lot of filming on this phone on my Samsung that I'm filming this with at the moment then on the backpack strap I've got a friendly Swede little uh, survival kit nothing fancy there 
little through night. Uh, it's a TI3, I believe. Yeah, TI3. Uh, very, very bright light. Runs off of one AAA battery. Got a little photon, photon 2 mini light. Nice and bright. Two capsules, one contains like paracetamol, allergy tablets, the other contains an emergency 20 pound note rolled up tight. So that goes on the uh, the strap of the pack. Then food, normally I'd have a bit more food uh, as I've just had breakfast here. Got some super noodles, I'd normally have those for dinner, maybe some meatballs and a cereal bar, energy bar, some drink mix. And then I'd normally have some porridge a cereal bar or snack bar, energy bar and a hot chocolate and I'll probably have a hot chocolate or a cup of soup as well with the super noodles as well at night. Then on to lighting, got a Petzl Ticker 2 head torch, spare batteries, don't keep the batteries in it because it drains it. <laughs> then I've got this little lantern light, unclip that so it's a torch slide that out and it turns into a lamp that you can hang from inside your shelter really useful comes in a little put it all in a cuban fiber stuff sack then another little cuban fiber stuff sack i've got basic first aid kit pills and plasters um lip balm wet wipes sort of else it's sort of hygiene as well I've got a little bottle of multi-purpose soap and a little bottle of hand sanitizer uh, pen knife does everything and then for a bigger blade I've just got sort of a fixed knife um, I can't remember where I got that from but paracord on the handle um, I think that is it uh, oh yeah and to hold it all in is this time was the Osprey Stratos 24 litre rucksack really comfy pack it's got an air core, sort of a uh, air mesh back system. In the pocket also I've got a little disposable rain poncho in case it did rain. Um, for warm clothing I've got that on because <laughs> it's cold. So gloves, uh, down jacket, thermal long sleeve uh, base layer, fleece, uh, waterproof over trousers, thermal leggings, beanie hat, so the gloves. Sometimes I also wear like a snood which is like a scarf and like a like a hat all in one um, and then new addition is this work light so I just carry that on the wild camps just as an extra bright light just to set up with and it's really useful for filming in the dark then if I've got to store anything outside the bivvy like my shoes and like the over trousers I'll just put in a black bag um, and the only other black bag that I use is that one there and that's just to keep all my sleep system nice and dry inside the rucksack in case I had to hike here in the rain and stuff so yeah not a lot of gear it looks like a lot but it's not a lot and it doesn't weigh a lot so really okay as you can see the sun's up now and I'm just packing up I've had breakfast I'm a lot lot warmer now so uh yeah it's been it's not been a bad night it's not been too too bad a few things i could learn from different uh bits of kit to refine again but that's the idea of doing these wild camps is you learn what works and what doesn't work um you, know, you can try or run stuff here you know if it goes tits up you can you know you haven't got far to get home so it's all right it's rather that than be sort of on a long distance walk somewhere and you know you realize this isn't working this isn't the right setup and it plays up so yeah i'm not too fussed about that that's all good if you've enjoyed this one again um as i say i'm going to try and get out and do a couple more this month uh it's my birthday on the 19th of january so i plan on doing something for that definitely getting out for a a good while camp maybe try and bring a birthday cake <laughs> this time uh and i want to do like sort of a poncho tarp and bivy bag set up as well 
Uh, hopefully my new, my new tarp should get here soon as well, so uh, that'll be good. Can't wait to test that out, that'll be absolutely brilliant. The amount of different setups I can do and stuff, because you're limited with a poncho tarp in a way. So, yeah, it should be good. Anyway. So yeah, about 4.9. Um, as I say, that was, yeah, that was without uh, water beforehand. So yeah, so that's about right. Um, and I've done the food as well, and of course uh, all the solid fuel tablets. So it, it should actually weigh a little bit less than that, really. I mean, that's just a set of luggage scales. If you were to weigh every item individually and then type that score it would be a lot different anyway so uh yeah anyway so i just thought i'd do that anyway nearly forgot about that so uh anyways right once again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one see you later